more invokes rise and shine. I saw the master this morning when he came down to wake up the world. I saw the master this morning as the sun was beginning to rise. He was sailing white clouds across heaven. He was moving the shadows of night. Then he bent down and kissed all. I saw the master this morning When he came down to wake up the world Now hospital horn, you'll see in just a moment As he's been out waking up the morning In his kayak Beautiful picture by Charlotte Do it again. Now here's where Charlotte's going to put the picture in. Now I'll be right back. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning, Ken. How are you? I'm good. Good. In Deuteronomy is where I'm doing my uh, reading, my Bible reading these days, coming up through the Old Testament. I'm talking about the times when uh, 
the Lord brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, delivered them out of Egypt. It would be symbolic of our salvation experience where the Lord brought us up out of the pit of sin and delivered us. And uh, he was taking them towards Cana, which is called the promised land, which uh, is uh, a metaphor concerning heaven and uh, to live with him and to give us his very best. And Moses is writing this and he, he comes through the book of Deuteronomy and he's tracing the history of this so they could tell their children and never let it escape them. <clears throat> and he said in verse one of chapter eight, you must obey all the commandments I gave you. If you do, you will not only live, you will multiply and go in and take the land of promise that the Lord gave to your fathers. Uh, don't ever forget how the Lord led you through the wilderness for 40 years, how he tested you and how you responded and how he gave you miracle after miracle. He says there, real, I'm, I'm down here now in verse three. He says, he did it to help you realize that food isn't everything. Mm -hmm. That real life comes by obeying every command of God. Maybe you guessed it already. The lesson about is about the importance of obeying God. Okay, he said, I gave you clothes. They didn't grow old. I gave you sandals. Your feet never got blistered or swollen. <laughs> he says, don't ever forget that. Mm -hmm. Now we come over a little farther in the chapter. In verse 11, and he is saying, when I've done all that for you and you get to the land of promise, the land of Canaan, the land of milk and honey, the land where everything is going great and you are really blessed and, and all of your flocks are, are uh, you know, just having babies and your wives are having babies and the land is prosperous. Don't forget. Okay, this is what he's saying. That is the time to be careful. Beware that in the time of plenty and don't forget the Lord your God and begin to disobey him because when you become full and prosperous and have built fine homes to live in and your flocks and your herds have become very large and your silver and gold have multiplied that's the time to watch out that you don't become proud and forget the Lord your God that brought you out of the land of slavery and from the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. These people forgot time after time after time after time till one whole generation had to go before the Lord would bring the next one into the land because they just forgot and disobeyed and disobeyed and disobeyed. Now it's common, it's common for all of us to have moments of disobedience in our lives. We've all been there. But we shouldn't make a career out of it. It isn't something that we should be doing our entire life. It's something we should learn from. And if there's ever a day when we need to learn the principle of obeying God, these are the days. You say, well, what? What's he telling me to do? You listen to him and you'll know in your heart. You won't have to ask a soul. The Holy Spirit's job, if you're a born again Christian, the Holy Spirit's job is to teach you all things and to lead you and to guide you. And if you honestly pray this prayer, Lord, I want to be totally humble before you, totally in obedience before you, and I never want to forget what you've done for me, show me, Lord, he'll do it, okay? Good truth, he'll do it. Remember, don't forget, and when you know what you should or shouldn't do, obey, and God will bless you. Have a great day. We love you, and we will see you tonight on the Hour of Prayer. This will be Thursday night. At 7 o'clock, tune back in with us and uh, type in your prayer requests. They're already starting to come back in.
already today, in the middle of the day, uh, people are, are typing in requests, and uh, we will be praying. But if you're anywhere around, even if you get on for a few minutes and just, just say this, I want to pray, that uh, will be great. So remember, don't forget. If you remember, obey. And if you remember, remember God's serious about it. And you and I need to be too. Have a good day. Bye-bye.